moving on with the thousand hour service I'm gonna start back here uh, we did the valve cover and the uh, valve cover gasket so now I'm gonna start back here and do the transmission so I got a drain plug here and then the transmission filter up there so I'm gonna remove this and drain it out and uh, change the filter and we'll fill it back up all right so once you get that first one undone there's two more back here uh, for the rear differential for the transmission so you'll remove that one and this one right here we'll get them drained and then we're ready to start filling got this little pump uh, for the bucket here this holds a little over eight gallons so once them are done I'll reinstall the drain plug and uh, I just put the filter on those are barely trickling out but I went ahead the filters higher so I went ahead and cleaned it off put the filter on up here so that's where it goes and then uh, the new o-rings go on our three drain plugs so once that's done I'll wait a little bit longer then I'll uh, fill it up all right so while that transmission fluid is still draining I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, air filter. So this is a two-piece air filter on this tractor. you got an inner air filter, which is here. And then the outer air filter. So. Go ahead and put these on. in this in first this you just use this nut and it's a uh, 11 16 so put the inner air filter back on bolt this back down last night I got the radiator finished put back in all the way got it filled up with some rust eater stuff you now the radiator's been all cleaned and everything so it's good but I'm running some I think it's called thermo cool or something like that I'm gonna run it through there get it cleaned out then we'll uh, run distilled water through it again and push it twice before we uh, put the coolant so far it looks like it's doing pretty good no leaks um, they repainted it for us I get all that done we'll uh, put the hood back on I got a little small uh, crack while I got it off uh, it's like right here in this corner I'm going to re-fiberglass it fix that while I got it off probably repaint it so that's how you put the air filter back in buy these air filters uh, out of the service kit if you buy them individually I think they're like 60 to 80 bucks a piece so it's definitely a lot cheaper to get the kit the kit was uh, $439 so that's the air filter and then after this we'll uh, go back to the transmission once it's done draining and fill it up if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. 
Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, 4M Ranch, and on Instagram, at Eric Motter. And I'll see you on the next one.